Hey, Talofa Koto. Welcome to another glorious day in the Tuvalu language week. They vaya so tengana Tuvalu. Nei, awe fi a share out to say, say pati e tau I want to share a word that is important to me. Te la koti mealofa. The word is mealofa or gift in Tuvaluan. Um, I love this word because. Alofa is love in Tuvaluan, and mea is thing, so a gift is literally a thing of love, mea lofa. And I felt such love from the people when I lived there in Tuvalu, and in the Pacific in general. And I think that's one thing that they, they truly do enjoy doing, is showing their love through gifts. Some of them might be physical, things that you can take with you, some maybe not so much. Uh, I want to share a few examples of, of both of those. The first gift I ever got in Tuvalu, my first mealofa, was this, this fan, or ili, fagotubalu. Um, this fan was given to me by a good friend of mine from Nui, Anne Numea. Shout out to Anne if she's ever sees this, I don't think she will, but I've kept it with me for forever through moves and changes and things like that just because it was the first time I felt welcome into the the country, welcome with the people. Um, it was very difficult when I moved there because I didn't understand a word, what people were saying. I thought everyone was laughing at me. Turns out they were, they were laughing at me. They continued to laugh at me the whole time I was there, but yeah, you know, all in fun and games. But this first gift was just super important to me to kind of usher in my, my being there in the country. And I don't know if she ever knew how much this meant to me, but shots to her another physical gift i'd like to talk about are these shell necklaces or tui um i kept every one that i've ever been given except for two two of my necklaces broke in the suitcase on the way home but i keep them in this bag to keep them like nice and safe so that the shells don't crack they are you know pretty uh, fragile but there's a tradition in tuvalu to give a tui when someone that you love or know comes into the country or leaves the country. It's kind of like a gift of parting. And all the ladies, not all of them, but a lot of the ladies will use it as a source of income. They'll make these beautiful shell necklaces and they'll do it um, week in and week out to sell to people so they can give them to their loved ones. Some of them are super intricate. Some of them are, you know, super like symmetrical. So they vary in like, uh, style very in shell shape and all those kinds of things but i love it because when you come in or and i'm going to put some pictures maybe hopefully that you can see but when you come in or you come out of the country you'll have like these shell necklaces around your neck and each one is a representative of like somebody who cares about you who's glad that you came or or is going to miss you when you leave one of them i'm going to show you one. This necklace here was given to me by a dear, dear friend. And it's different than any of, the neck, any of the other necklaces that I have. So I'm always sure to remember it and I know where it is just by looking for the green rope. But so the woman that made this necklace was actually a Kiribati woman. A Kiribati is a different country, uh, a little bit north of Tuvalu, but the people have a really close relationship. She's a Kiribati woman that was married and lived there in Tuvalu. and. I don't know, man. We just, we got a really good relationship, me, uh, her, and her family. And I went over to their house to get my hair cut on occasion. She taught me how to make a bunch of really good Kyrgyz and Tuvaluan dishes. And all those memories that I had shared with her and her family are cemented really in this necklace. So those are examples of material gifts, gifts that you can take with you wherever you go. but. To me, I think the more important gift is the, the gifts that are immaterial. For example, with this Tui, I have the, the, the necklace, but what's more important so much more than the physical necklace is the emotions and the memories that the physical necklace brings out, right? The, the memories I had with my friend and her family. Um, like that, one gift that I love is that of food. I guess it is material, but then it doesn't it changes into immaterial after a while. But man, I just remember all the good meals that I had with with friends and families, sit down and 
and just eat together, talk story. So tala faka. So tala. And I think those are the the memories or the gifts that are way more important. For example, I I have, I've never I don't think I've shared this story before, but uh, when I lived there in Tuvalu, we had a, a rather rough job. Me and I guess my roommate, so to speak, we were preachers. We traveled around teaching about you know Christ, and our goal is to help people create a personal relationship with God and things like that. The work was difficult, it was very hot, obviously learning a new language, living in a new place, being far away from everybody that is familiar to us. And knowing that that work was a little bit difficult, one particular uh, family would always come by to our house and drop off samosas, two samosas, and just like breakfast food every morning. The family went to go I guess sell them in the market and they always made sure that they kept a, a little parcel for us and they would bring them to our house every single day. When I was there for my first, I guess maybe a month, they did they never stopped by. And uh, just one day we were having a particularly hard day, ran out of money. If you know anything about Tuvalu, there's only one bank, there's no ATMs, so getting money to get like from a different country and be brought there is like rather difficult. And oh my gosh, we ran out of money. We weren't going to have any new money sent for another couple of weeks. And food was running really low, like dangerously low. Um, tired, kind of frustrated of eating noodles every single day. It's hot, super hot. Morale was at an all time low. And then there's like a knock on the front door. I say, dang, got to get dressed, got to open the door and see who it is and what they want. You know, I was kind of like, oh, this is a little bit of a hassle. I go open the door, and, you know, it's my man, Viliami. Pops by, brings the mimosas, hands them to us. And I was like, okay, or not mimosas, samosas. Mix up. Brings the samosas, and it was like manna from heaven. Just gobbled them all up. That was our meal for the day. Felt really good. We are really proud, really happy. Morale was at an all-time high. Next morning, same thing. And then the next morning, same thing. Next morning, same thing. It just was like, man, the gift that keeps on giving. So that's our word for the day. I know that was like a super long roundabout way of getting to it, but our word for the day is mealofa. And just remember guys, all gifts are just expressions of love. Fafsai, tawimatayao.